coding at the b, &B. I'm on. Hey y'all, hey people, it's Kiyosha here. I am back with an Amazon Essentials haul travel edition. Um, I have been on the go, like catching flights, bro. I'm not here traveling. And uh, recently I've ordered some new things to like help me pack my stuff a lot easier. So I'm just gonna go through a couple of items that I really enjoy using. I will try to link stuff down below I don't know how well that's gonna work, but so the first item I'll talk about only really pertains to like women because, well, I mean, if you are a man and you wear makeup too and you use beauty blenders, then this would be helpful for you. I have four sets of these like beauty blender covers. I don't know exactly the name of them, but I'm just gonna put it on the side of the screen here and or like the beauty blender travel cases. These are absolutely amazing. So before I used to just put my beauty blenders in the same makeup bag as like my brushes and like all of my concealer and foundation and all that. But then I found that my beauty blenders were getting even messier and like dirtying up like all of my palettes and stuff because it wasn't really protected. It wasn't really anything that was covering it. So these right here are an absolute gem. I absolutely love the colors that they come in too. And they are silicone. They have these little breathable like little holes in here so that if your beauty blender is moist when you put it in here, then it can just like air out over time. I don't know about y'all, but I do like use uh, damp beauty blenders when I am putting on my concealer sometimes, not all the times. And I don't always like damp the whole thing either, but it's a little pocket. Like these are so cute and really handy. So I feel like these are very essential. I also just try to keep them like color coordinated. I try to keep the ones for my eyes and face in like one different color, um, just so I can know like which ones I've already like touched and used or whatnot. But these are the beauty blender travel cases. I probably will have to re up on these soon, but trip wipes. Okay, why wouldn't these be a must? Honestly, trip wipes dedicated just for like your phone and your technology and stuff is a go because I used to use like the Clorox wipes and those, it leaves like some kind of like a residue on your screens um, and it's because it has like bleach in it, right? It does get the job done, but it's not as great as like the trip wipes. I mean, they're both really great, but I feel like these don't really leave behind any residue when it comes to cleaning up your screens. You can use these for your hands too, but I have some specifically for my hands that I bought from Target. I just wish that it came in a bigger pack. Uh, these are also citrus scented. They do have unscented ones. And yeah, 30 comes in a pack. I wish 60 of these came in a pack. Come in a really like small pack it too. Um, so if you don't want to take the whole box with you, you can take like 10 or 15 and just like put them in your suitcase. A freaking neck pillow. Now, I don't know if it's like S shape or L shape or whatever, but it changes. Um, but you can like mold it to like fit your neck and your chin, whichever way. And it also like buttons around too. So it's really easy to pack. You can just like fold it up any kind of way, put it in your luggage or your carry on bag, or even just like wear it until you get on a plane and just put it on. Oh, the material is so plush and like comfortable and warm. You know what would make it even better is if it had like a built-in heater because I'd be knocked out, I'd be knocked out. I feel like travel pillows are a hit or miss because they start off like feeling really comfortable and then over time as you use them, they just like get super flat and not like too doable anymore. But this one right here, I've used this every single time I've been on a plane for the last like five or six times and it has been absolutely wonderful. Y'all know I'm vegan, so I really try to be eco-friendly and sustainable as much as I can. And I have always used like bamboo cloths and like reusable cotton pads and stuff or reusable pads just to like take off my makeup and like help me wash my face. So either a pack of 30 or a pack of 60 came in this little like box that I ordered and I keep them in this little bamboo wrap cloth bag because it's just a lot easier for me to like keep track of which ones I've used and which ones that I haven't used. And I got them in different colors because for one, it's a lot easier to know which ones you use to wipe your face with when you don't have any makeup and then which one you use specifically for makeup removal. At least that's how I've been doing it. And like I said, these are really great for the environment so you continue to use them. You can also put them in a washer too, but yeah, you can hand wash them in the sink and then just let them air dry. Or you can just put them in this bag and then throw it in a washer with like whatever kind of washing liquid you use. They're really great on your skin too. I also use like bamboo washcloths, but I don't bring them with me because they're thicker than these. They're a lot longer and bigger. And I feel like for saving space, 
all I gotta do is like bring like five or six and I'll be good to go. Next, we have, as far as like packing, we have the travel shoe bags. And I have a pack of like four, they're in four different colors. I honestly don't know what took me so long to even get on the bandwagon to even buy these. Um, I guess it's because I usually only ever wear one or two pairs of shoes when I do travel, so I don't ever bring that many like pairs of shoes. I'm just not a shoe person. These shoe bags, they're really damn big. I like the fact that they all came in like different colors because otherwise I like put my tennis shoes in one bag, my sandals in another, and then my boots and another one. Even still, like say if you have packing cubes and you run out of space with your packing cubes, you can just use a shoe bag because they're pretty much the same thing. Now speaking of packing cubes, oh my goodness. Like my life has become so much more easier now that I have packing cubes. On top of that, like even with like just a small like carry on, I feel like packing cubes are a must because I need everything to be organized and to be divided as best as it can just so that traveling isn't too hectic. Especially when you have like different colors and kinds of outfits and socks and stuff. So this is the brand All Our Hike. I've never heard of them until Amazon. But there's a pack of like six in here. And I'll just put like an overlay of like the sizes of the packing cubes and like how big they are. But these are like very convenient. I really like the cloth and I like the fact that it has like these little holes in it because like say if I put some wet clothes in here or like some dirty clothes in here, I need to know, like, I can just smell the bag or smell it through the bag. Well, never mind, because now that I say that, that sounds like bad. We ain't even gonna talk about it. You need packing cubes, sis. You just, you, you need them. Satin pillowcases. This might not be for everybody. It depends. I don't know why you wouldn't want a satin pillowcase, but satin pillowcases are essential because, number one, they're great for your skin. They're way better than cotton and any other material out there that you're sleeping on. Number two, they're great for your hair too. The only hassle about satin pillowcases is that they're just a little bit more expensive than like your average pillowcase, but these came in a pack of two. Um, I actually ordered like two sets of these, so I got four of them, um, but I'm gonna look for one that would go over like my neck pillow. I can find any, um, but satin pillowcases, like I said, are just like really great for your skin. When you're traveling and you're like sleeping at hotels or Airbnbs and you're sleeping on different like linen and stuff, I don't know about y'all, but whether you have sensitive skin or not, I just feel like bringing a spare pillowcase and it just sleeping on your satin pillowcase is a lot better. They're hella soft, they're just great. Go pick you up one, like literally add this to your list, you won't regret it. Um, when you are washing it, just like wash it in cold and hang dry it. You never want to tumble dry it like satin pillowcases. Anything satin at all, okay? Sometimes, depending on a certain trip, I will bring a lot of makeup. Um, and I usually ever keep it in like one bag, but the bags that I've always like traveled with, they never had any type of departments, any type of like side pockets or anything. And like I said, Amazon had a sale when I was looking, so I got this makeup bag. It is by the brand Pop Mimit. I ain't never heard of them, ever. Um, but the outside material, I don't even know how this is like, it's not even a cloth, it's a very like water resistant material because I already had gotten this wet and it didn't like ruin anything. Um, it just repelled right off, so I really like that. But it has so many departments, especially for your makeup brushes. And you know, these days I'm really minimalistic, so I haven't been wearing too much makeup. Like I don't even have on makeup right now, but this is the department for your makeup brushes. And you can put them in there. Um, sometimes I also just put like my skincare and like the rest of my toiletries in here. So you don't necessarily have to use this for makeup. You can use this for toiletries or like perfume and stuff, anything that you have. And then it also comes with a detachable like pouch. Um, and what I really like about this pouch is that like, so you can put stuff in here. It also has like a different, like a separate pocket that you can put other stuff in. Um, the only thing that I don't get about like some pouches is that why in the world is the pocket or the inside white? Yeah, it's gonna get dirty like hella easier and I don't like that because then that just makes my life hard because I gotta clean the inside out. And yeah, you're using it, but I just like for my stuff to be clean. You can also detach this little um, pocket onto here. And when you're traveling, it just goes like that. 
They do have like different sizes too, and I think this is just a regular size because I'm starting completely over with my makeup collection. So last but not least, when I say these are a absolute must have, like if y'all ain't pay attention to anything else in this video that I've mentioned, you need to pick up these travel size containers. These are absolutely, I keep saying absolutely, that must be word of the day. But for real, these are great. It's by the company, or yeah, I think this is a brand, Aberde Eco Follow. I think that's it. I would assume that's the brand. I love these so much that I bought two of them. I used to buy like a lot of like travel size items like travel size shampoo, travel size facial cleanser, travel size eye cream. And then I started looking at the prices and realized like I'm really just wasting money paying for like a smaller size of the regular product that I already get and I'm just throwing it away. I ended up just like buying these and like putting all of my product into these bottles because it's a lot more efficient. And I really like how this comes with the different labels. So you can put it onto the white tab and then put it onto the bottle and you'll never get confused with like what you put in uh, which bottle. And also with the fact that it comes with like this little scoop and like scalpel and like measuring tube. So if it's hard to get your shampoo out of the bottle, you can use that little tool for that. Same thing with perfume. These little tubes right here, you can use them for like lip scrubs, concealer, any type of like dip or powder that you wanna put in here and it also comes with this little clear plastic bag i threw the other one away by accident but you can just use this plastic bag for like a bikini or like anything you want to put in here for like extra storage when you're traveling so as i was editing this video i realized that i forgot one of the items i literally forgot about this wallet slash like passport book you can put your passport in here and like your different cars any of your ticket information it comes in different colors and it's pretty big too it was in my book bag so i like completely forgot that i had it i'm gonna blur out my ugly id but it has four different card slots it has two slots for sim cards i have my key in here i also keep like the most important thing which is my little COVID card so i have that in there and then you can flip it onto the back where I have another ID. I'm gonna blur that ugly ass thing out too. And then another slap back here for your passport. Y'all, that is it for my Amazon Essentials video travel edition. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video and like check out some of these items because they're really useful. Um, I might be doing a part two because I'm going back to Europe soon and please subscribe to my channel for like more hauls because I'm giving them to y'all and vlogs too. If you enjoyed this video, you already know what to do, bro. Just give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below any products that you've been using or like any other like organizational hacks and stuff when you travel and let me know what the deal is. Subscribe to my channel and I will see y'all in my next video. I can't do that, no. I got a few more